Polychaeta is a paraphyletic class of generally marine annelid worms, commonly called bristle worms, or polychaetes. Each body segment has a pair of fleshy protrusions called parapodia that bear many bristles, called cati, which are made of chitin. Polychaetes, a diverse class, inhabit various environments, from the coldest depths of the ocean to the scorching temperatures near hydrothermal vents. They're found across all ocean depths, from surface-dwelling plankton to a 2 to 3 chem specimen recently spotted by the Nereus robot ocean probe in the Challenger Deep, the ocean's deepest spot. Interestingly, only a small fraction, 168 species, less than 2%, inhabit freshwater habitats. As a group of animals that are commonly recognized by most of us as earthworms and leeches, which are both classified as part of the Clitellata class. However, it is the Polychaeta class, which is their sister class, that displays the most remarkable diversity. With more than 10,000 known species found in brackish or saltwater environments worldwide. Unlike earthworms, polychaetes can possess dozens of legs, claws, tentacles, antennae, and complex mouthparts, which are all adapted to an incredibly diverse range of lifestyles. Some of them are beautiful to look at, while others can be quite unsettling and many of them can be both at the same time. Polychaetes come in various body shapes and lifestyles. They crawl along the ocean floor, but some live in different ways. Burrowing, swimming, living in tubes, or even as parasites. They're segmented worms, usually small, but ranging from tiny, one meter to huge, 3M, in some types like Eunice aphroditois. Some are brightly colored or even shine. Each segment has paddle-like parts called parapodia for movement and breathing. These creatures are incredibly diverse, including species that swim in the water or live deep down. Most burrow in sediment, some live together, and a tiny percentage are parasites. They have separate sexes and various ways of reproducing, with some releasing eggs into the water while others hatch internally. The young can be larvae floating in the water before growing up into adults. Some types have no larval stage, and others' larvae don't feed but rely on stored nutrients.